Since you're dead, you're all dead. This show's a blast. It's just, it's one of the weirdest things you're ever gonna see, and there is nothing else like it. The, from the choreography to the music to the story, there's, there's very little else that I've ever experienced that does what this show does in the way that it does. It's such a unique voice. There's a lot of technical stuff going on. Um, it's a very much an ensemble piece in a lot of ways where almost all of us are on stage all the time or just about to be on stage. Let's get drunk instead. Once you're dead, you're all dead. It's based on a real person's life and so it takes this amazing story which it does substitute some um, abnormalities and absurdities but for the most part it's it's this crazy magical wonderful unbelievable world that this show is written it honors musical theater but it elevates the art form to a different level it's very smart on the surface it looks like it's pure comedy but the satire um, is is very dense, and there are many levels to this piece. It's not just you know funny animal heads and adult babies. One of the things about this story that's so interesting to me is how little, unless you've taken a psychology class in college, how little people know about John Bortus Watson and what he did. I mean, his history. I think Albert Dan, the director, I think he says it really wonderfully that the man lived multiple lifetimes in the span of his own. And then to almost kind of be shuffled away by history because of the controversies that surrounded him. Well, it's beautifully written, first of all, and secondly, this is the first musical that Cap Stage is doing, and I think everyone in Sacramento needs to check out what this theater company does when it treats musical theater. Three steps to the left, five steps straight ahead.